time for a short thing tonight. to have registered, that's good. Always good when Twitch is behaving. Yep, it's good. Alright. Okay. tempted to look into, where did we put it? We, we call it SLSA, right? Yeah, somewhere down here. It looks sort of like Rhombus. <laughs> it actually looks a lot like Rhombus. That's pretty funny. Um, I think I'm going to make the B core version of this. So this goes up and comes off, and we no longer need roll control. Silly things like that. Um, I think we want the early Saturn instrument unit. And two of you. How heavy is this? Is it worth decoupling it in flight? 400 kilograms? Don't care. Might as well just leave the whole boat, boat tail on. I don't think we need to decouple that. Okay. Yeah, sorry guys. I just, yeah, I just finished and I have like, I don't know, half hour, 40 minutes before. I also sign off and go to bed. So this is this is going to be the uh, basically so the real the real B core has a diameter increase if memory serves um but for this I think we'll be good just um giving this a nice 5 minutes of burn time There we are We'll see just how much payload we can sling to orbit. Uh, so this is, you remember the, S, the SLSA from yesterday? This is the B now. And I'm going to put four uh, UA-1205s on it. It's down here somewhere. No, that's the, that's the RSRF. Um, yeah, for th we'd have to use those for the C, probably. Here's the UA-1205, which is actually 125. Uh, down, these go up. Okay. And it still ends up, it still ends up looking short, sort of tubby. It really looks tubby, but oh well, it is what it is. Um, these go up to 3 meter, 3.05 and let's get rid of those where is it? Come on. Come now, surely there was the solid motor in here somewhere. Well, we'll just make it super narrow. that. Okay. Yep, 
it's basically so the A core had a single J2, the B core has two J2s, um, I think, or in some circumstances an M1, and the C core had two M1s, if memory serves. Um, right, so let me see if I can. Uh, Window Firefox. Uh, no, that's IRC. There it is. Okay. Let's make this nice and big. So, this is Astronaut's entry on the SLS A410. Um, bigger oops uh, there okay so that's and there's project there's the lunex um, lifting body on top now as you can see the idea is so the a388 this was the smallest version of SLS so it has the a core um, which has it's basically a 60 it's just under 60 tons um, with the 200,000 pound force J2 burns for f 4 minutes and 10 seconds uh, its estimated diameter was four point, it was 14 feet uh, we're doing 15 feet but we were burning for 5 minutes uh, 4 minutes is a very short burn time for a J2. Uh, anyway, so here's the the A410, which has four of the solids instead of two. You can see this has two of these, and this has four. Um, we, by contrast, are um, not accept this update. So this is the AB825. So we're making the B core, which uh, has two J2s, and it's 160 tons with this longer burn time of almost six minutes. Um, but we're not quite doing that, first of all, because we don't have the solids that we would need. Um, it expects to have two 367 ton solids. We, by contrast, have uh, we'll, we'll have four 226 ton solids. So that's 904 tons versus. So we'll have slightly more oomph from the solids. Uh, so we might consider actually using the other stage as top stage. And yeah, I, I wonder whether Mark Wade got the angle on those a little off. That's a serious amount of cosine losses. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, I mean, the UA120s have a fairly large angle on the solids as well. I mean, these don't, obviously, because they're not actually the right model. But, um, let's, yeah, that looks more like the nose of a solid. Um, so, we are going to lever these away like this. That's super weird. The staging is all kinds of messed up. Um, but that's okay. And and let's actually do a bit of vertical snap. And they're now aligned. Alright.
So it says two J2s. It needs um, to do that, first of all. Five minutes and our liftoff thrust to weight ratio is quite high and we have plenty of delta V. So let's bring the delta V down some, shall we? Down to there. All right. That is 23 and a half tons. And our all up pad mass is almost 1,100 tons. So, not a great, not a great um, payload to orbit, but solids are heavy. Uh, so, we don't even have Minimus. This is, this is real solar system. I, I think you may have, have confused your streams. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking we should stretch this. We'll go with the historic six minute stuff. Yeah, there isn't a second moon. Uh, look up in the sky sometimes, see if you see a second moon. You're probably not going to. Okay, so this also has a very high liftoff thrust to weight ratio. Uh, solids should burn with these fillers. Um, and let's turn on some pumps. Not that we're going to light anything from the ground, but just to be sure that electric charge, etc., stays. And let's see how this thing performs. Uh, looks like we're going to need a little more payload up here. Um. Hmm. I have my doubts. That's probably more like what we need. That's, let's go for 27 tons even. Well, basically even. Okay, so let's launch this thing, see how it performs. Now it looks sort of like um, like a Titan 3L or something. Interesting. Always interesting. Yeah, KS you're very right that KSP is... I mean, KSP can be played by children, but it's um, it is not a simple game. It is very much not a simple game, um, and the same. I mean, it's the same science, which either way, it's just there are more considerations in there. Are, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I mean, to be clear, Jello, you're 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 welcome to stay, um, but I think you may want to to check out what we actually do on this stream. Uh, I'm not sure if it's your cup of tea. It might be. You never know. Um, So, let's go for this. What is going to be my turn end altitude? Given this liftoff thrust weight ratio and the contribution of these boosters, I'm going to guess 150. Ah, uh, let's turn... Well, I don't care about stages. Uh, 
acceleration, surface speed, orbit speed, Q, AOA, pitch, mass. All right. The the egg happifying numbers. All right. Autopilot is engaged. We are go for launch. Let's go. Man, this thing gets out of dodge fast. And boy, is that a lot of smoke. There's, you know, I gotta say, it's, um... The RP0 tutorial campaign that I was doing, we did not have a lot of fast movers. It's kind of exhilarating to have a fast mover. Six, uh, Mach 2. We're going to have... Ah, we already hit max Q. Excellent. Max Q of like 55 kilopascals. Um, the only thing you need to do to make a scenario is copy your SFS file over to the scenario, in, make a new folder in scenarios, um, and make an image of the same name, I believe. There, and then change it from sandbox to scenario or scenario non-resumable, I think. You can look, they're basically just SFS files. Okay, now we begin to worry about lighting off the J2s. Five, four, three, two, J2 ignition. We have good light on the J2s. And... Wasn't that pretty. That was quite pretty. So, up pitch. And there, they finally burnt out. That was a pretty separation, I have to say. Uh, we're going to have to pitch a bit above, I think. Oh, you're talking about tutorials, not scenarios. Um, scenarios are just safes. Tutorials, you have to write a, um, a scenario module that inherits from tutorial and... Um, given that I rewrote all the ones for 1.1, I can probably do a tutorial on them at some point when I have a spare minute, maybe, hopefully. Um, but it, yes, it basically it involves writing um, the, all the screens as a finite state machine. So, like you say, this, this state has this title and this thing in the dialog, and it performs these actions on enter, and how you exit it, whether it, um, you know, whether there's a check condition or whether it's just when you press next. Um, so yeah, it involves setting up that fine state machine. I, yeah, I, it would be awesome if Realism Overhaul had them. I, and it would, I think it's on the, the giant what is to be done list, but yeah, it's just this. Whoa, we need to pitch up way the heck more than I thought we did. I don't know, because they're not working for me either. There's somebody who's posting on Reddit uh, did manage to do that, but I don't think they ever said how. Uh, also, oh, oh, right, and, and Bob Fitch posted on Reddit about that. Um, and I poked him about putting Ares up in GitHub, but I don't think he had a chance to, because he got the textures working too. All right, so we're going to fall past Apogee. Gravity losses are kind of bad, actually, compared to before. Oh, son of a gun, I forgot about test flight. I forgot all about test flight. Well, that's a waste of a launch. Um, I guess we can just do it again.
No, I don't think you did. Um, you just saw the standard ground textures. Oh, son of a gun. That's annoying. Um, oh yeah, I have to... I did put the physics easing code in, but... Um, Yeah, or like literally show any indication that there's a there there rather than it being just videos. I mean, I forgive me, I'm somewhat skeptical. Yeah, early hydrolox is super expensive. You get what you pay for because it's amazing. Oops, acceleration there. Oh, we don't need that. All right. So let's try this again. Um... Oh, no, those are the city textures, not the terrain textures. The city lights work fine. The daylights the the day cities and night cities work fine. It's the terrain it's the actual terrain terrain textures that don't work. Basically the fork so the Linux 64 branch of Pingo Pete's repository, he's accepted enough pull requests from me that it basically works now. Um, also, Phineas Freak has that that fork that's RSS VE or something. Um, that's also basically working. So it should work fine for you there. Yeah, so no, Mr. Bond, the thing about the thing about that is that 422 doesn't seem like that much, per se. Think about it like this, though. If you put a Centaur basically on top of your launch vehicle say it's a say it's a like a 12 15 ton upper stage with hydrolox you will literally get double the delta v oh yeah about that i don't know uh it it worked fine for me that's why i pushed it um <laughs> uh so yeah i i i don't know i don't know why it's why i'm working for you um, yeah, make sure you have the right version of EVE and that you got from the Linux 64 branch from Pete's repository. And that has all my corrections to everything, so it should just work. J2 ignition. Oh, whoops, I forgot to turn off test flight. Oh, no, I did turn off test flight. Oh, good. And... Solid set. Whoa, that was... Oh, I know why that is now. Oh, I know why that is now. Yeah. Okay, it's because... It's because those things work too well. Yeah. That's why. So it actually pushes the back... You know, it seesaws around the center of mass, so it pushes the back into the main tank. All right, so... Yeah, I think they should be about there. So there's some kick, but not much kick. Okay. Angle them you want the way the boosters to go and put them centered. Um Yeah, but I actually want there to be some torque. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, yeah. Let's see what the actual, the origin of that booster is. The center is, oh, that's interesting. Apparently it's much further down than I thought. All right, let's move these down a bit more then. All right. 
let's try that. They're not even? I thought I made them even. Okay, I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Um, let me just line these up and disable test flight. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to straight up do that so all the settings stick. And let's try it again. You're right, they're not. I thought they were. They ain't. Now they are. Let's try this again. See if MacJeb remembers my settings. Yeah, we're somewhat handicapped by using the, the 200,000 pound force J2 instead of the 230 or whatever the real thing. Oh, it didn't save the... That's annoying. That's very annoying. Oh well. Um. Yep. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying. Um, I just... I have my doubts that the center of mass is where I think it is on those boosters. Yeah, this this really does look sort of like a Titan 3L. Or even Barbarian. Yeah, that's because you have, like, one ton of tank and eight tons of F1 at the bottom, or whatever. Well, more than one ton of tank, or, like, I don't know. It's not, but, yeah, so placement on, on this is going to be different. to ignition. Don't hit us. What the heck happened? Vapor and feed lines. Why is there vapor and feed lines? Oh, the pad's going to explode, isn't it? Not if I hack gravity first. Okay. All right. Let's try you again. Turn all this back on. Not quite sure why I'm bothering with egg not present, but whatever. Um... Yeah, there's something kind of sexy about a nice launch vehicle with boosters that the straight sticks that I've been using and the tutorial campaign just look kind of plain. Yes, he certainly does accept pull requests. <laughs> that is the... No, Mr. Bond, that is the perfect term for it. <laughs> that, is, that is by far the perfect term.
that would be amazing. I would love if you made that thing. Alright, we've got next to no drags, so why did my starting those J2s result in... Eh. Well, we'll see. Five seconds. Let's start them up. Okay, we have nominal thrust from the J2s, so... Not really sure what was going wrong there. That went better. That went better. Let's pitch up. Pitch a bit above. I think we actually pitch even higher. Because we're definitely going to fall down past Apogee, I think. We are at one Pascal. Let's release the fairing sides. So the angle of attack went negative and then shot up to high positive and then dipped. And yeah. Pitch is fairly constant and then with that up pitch maneuver. Surface speed is increasing. Running ever forward. We're going very slowly, which is why we're getting gravity losses out of Wazoo. I mean, we're still going to end up with much lower gravity losses than a low thrust-to-weight ratio launch, but... Uh, in real life, I think somewhere... Depends on how sturdy the payload is. Probably anywhere below 10 pascals is safe, but in a way it depends on the thermal limits. Um, you have to look up what the whoops now let's pitch back down because we'll fall past Apogee She's getting a bit high. So, I'm going to go level. Yeah, we, we pitched. I guess I should go back to maybe 15 degrees pitch instead of 20, 18 or 20. Um, so we're going to go to a higher parking orbit than intended. Yeah, most modern launchers will have the, these big fat cores. Falcon 9 is kind of an exception to that.
with with full thrust it actually burns its core pretty fast okay so about 30 seconds left I'll pitch up man we have way too much Delta B we could sneak much more payload to orbit Pitch up quite severely and kill off all that vertical speed. level and yeah we had about 250 meters per second spare how are we gonna do on that we have 606 liters spare yeah so we did not have high gravity losses we didn't even expend that much Delta V so this is a success successful launch vehicle so let's up the payload. We had about 250 spare. And this needs to... Uh, okay. That is slightly more optimal and we had... Let's go... to there. How much is that? 30 tons. Let's go for 30 tons even. Well, just a hair shy. All right. Right. So this can do 30 tons and the nice thing is, given its liftoff thrust to weight ratio right here, we can just stick the A core on top of this and with a relighting J2 have a really impressive translunar injection capability. Um, yeah, it's quite expensive because the solids are expensive and the Hydrolox core is expensive. So, oh, you're saying that's nice. Oh, I, I think that's like twice as expensive as it should be for the, <laughs> for the payload. No, that's not true. No, that's actually, okay, this isn't actually that bad, all things considered. Uh, but it is more expensive than, than I think a, a traditional serious, serially staged single J2 upper and a big Carolox lower. Yeah, but your 30-ton launcher has, like, strap-on F1s. Yeah, this is, this is, this is fairly decent. Um, all right, what's the, what's the RSRM? Five segment RSRM is 733 tons each. Oh, but I don't have the M1, do I? That's that's sad. I forgot that. I forgot that I don't have um, the M1 engine. So the SLS 
C core is 825 tons. It expected two M1s of a total thrust and vacuum of 10,000, 10.7 10 megaNewtons. Um, and it's a, what is that, 20, 25 foot? Um, 25 foot core. Uh, Uh, proton, proton is exceptionally cheap because those engines are super cheap. So they're almost like, given the price balancing and everything else, they're almost like overpoweredly cheap. But then they don't have the best reliability for a while. Um, Okay, so yeah, that's that effect. The the C core effectively needs ten J twos, so the C core is not something we can replicate right now. Um, but yeah, this is this is a decent, a decent design, and you know the max thrust to weight ratio because the thrust curve wasn't actually that high, if memory serves, it's probably more like four Gs, and then you hit another, whatever on burnout. Um, so yes, that's pretty funny. Um, oh, that's not a Star 37, that's like a Star 37 FM. It really should be marked as such. Also, um, huh, it doesn't have a gimbal. Okay. Uh, yeah, so what in the, I don't know. 15, 20 minutes before I go to bed, what should I make next? You guys got any ideas? Mini N1. Uh, do you mean actually like the N111 or a genuinely Mini N1? The N111 being um, I mean the, for a while the trebuchet kind of was Sorry, remind me what... <laughs> yeah. Uh, liquid hype, sorry, remind me what it, what the SLM is. I'm not remembering it offhand. It's, I presume it's a... It's an Indian satellite launch vehicle, given the nomenclature, but um, I'm not... Or is that something else? Yeah, my internet searching is... Yeah, it's also giving me nothing either, so... Gave me a post from Nation States of somebody rebadging a Falcon 9 launch as their own launch vehicle. Um, so Google is not being helpful.
Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that... Um... Yeah. Okay, so, and that's... Yeah, we can actually... So what I'm... Given that Blowfish fixed the gimbals on the, the Minuteman, what I might do is... Um... What did I even call that thing from last time? I have too many craft files. Uh, what did we call it? I have literally no memory. And this was only like a few days ago. Was it? The heck did I call it? I'm fairly sure I saved the thing. It's not CCN or TSR orbit. No, that's the thing we had from before. Saturn Retriever R7 Pegasus Owl Monager Mega Herc. Is it called the Lark? Maybe. Probably not. I think this is actually a. Oh. I have no idea what this is. What even is this? Oh, it's with two LR80s. Okay. Oh, it's not in this save. That's why I can't find it. All right, well, so we'll just remake it. That's fine. Um, so let's do a really low-tech version of that. Um, tech version of this thing. Um, and let me let me just copy that over from the other save. Okay, so what I'm going to do is not something closely modeling it, but it's something inspired by it. Uh, which will involve... Um, that's interesting. This, this, um, an avionics unit, and then a small liquid stage of some sort. Uh, 0.8. 
one. Okay, service module. engine can we put on here? Uh, that ain't tiny. Um, I guess we can just go with our old favorite, the Astros. Can't we? Man, is that nozzle larger than than 81 centimeters? Uh, it might be. Survey says... Ha! Huh, just barely fits. That's impressive. Alright, so we're actually, we're not even about to do that. We'll just put that there. Alright. So. Ah, uh, we need we need something to tell us the burn time. All right, what? Nah, let's go with four minutes. Okay, and this needs to be rather heavy. Whoa. Ah, and this is the problem. I built it the wrong way. Eight. One, three. All right. Intriguing. What is our mass right now? 6.6 .6 tons. Okay. So this needs a second avionics unit. And I'll put that back on. Alright. And we'll go with... fifty percent thrust here and oh is the staging screwed possibly um Yes, the staging is very screwed. Where is this decoupler? That's correct. So these sides need to come down to here. This is that decoupler. They need to join with that. And... All right, that makes more sense.
That can't be right. I find it very hard to believe that the delta V is that low. But apparently that's the case. Um. Mm. We really need a be better second stage than a caster. Because right now we're getting less payload into orbit than before. <laughs> It's only 2.3 tons. It's crazy. Service module, yeah. Okay, yeah, I don't know why this is underperforming so badly compared to the solid version. But it is. Um, I mean, I guess we could put a small kick stage on that, and that would really amp up its performance. But I think it being 3.40 in the morning, I should probably log off. So I'm going to do so. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed the bit of streaming I was able to do. Uh, and I'll, I'll see you soon. Uh, hopefully... I don't know. I don't know whether I can do it tomorrow or not. We'll see. See how much I get done. Anyway, have a good night slash day slash morning slash whatever. Uh, and see you soon. Bye-bye.